This week on Archer's Choice. We decided to call our friends up Hank and Lisa and said, hey guys, you live in Texas. Can you set us up with something? <laughs> and boy, did they set us up. Well, He's a big fan. What do you say? We let the beam and fly. Wait, get him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Yeah, and this week, well, you know, we've been dealing with winds, snow, ice at home. Man, Illinois was a horrible winter. We called our dear friends Hank and Lissa. Yeah, down in Texas, and we're like, do you guys have anywhere we can come down where it's warm and do some hunting? Hank's been on a lease down there forever. Right, you, right. you know what I mean? And it's not hamburger. Take the H out, put the B, and you got Bamberger. All right, well, there you go. This ranch is a, it was a lifelong dream of his to to buy a piece of property and see if he could restore it. It really is a rag to riches type of story. Um, but he read a book when he was 14 years old called Pleasant Valley. And the book was written about how a guy had bought some farmland that was terribly degraded and turned it, it in. up, restored yep. it. And he wrote that book about how he did it. And Mr. Bamberger reads it and says, that's what I want to do. When I started this, concept right here, I have to tell you that this realtor was showing me land. He showed me places that had landing strips and high fences and big houses. I said, hey, you're showing me the wrong stuff, brother. I, I want something that is so bad that nobody else wants it. Nobody will buy it. He said, well, he said, you must not be from Texas because we've got a hell of a lot of that kind here. <laughs> When I came here, we didn't have a drop of water. If you've been driving around today, you saw water everywhere. We didn't have a damn drop. Because it was grown up wall to wall with ash juniper, commonly called cedar. Yep. Back then, I needed the money, and I called some buddies. I said, hey, guys, I, I bought a ranch up here in the hill country, and you're all talking about getting a deer lease. I got one. Them guys come up. I said, Bamber, the best deer we ever shot. We, he weighed 50 pounds, we put him in an H-E-B grocery bag and took him home. But two and a half years after I began, quote, habitat restoration, the smallest deer that was harvested in our managed area, field dressed at 105 pounds, and Stephen tells me they have some at 155. What made all this happen was, after we skimmed off these cedar trees and everything, we had bare ground. And we put native grass seed in there and we got grasses to grow. On these old rocky hills, we saw this massive green spot. Well, what's causing all that up there? We thought of some invasive plant or something. It was water. The scientist that helped me, and I, looking for answers, he said, well, Bamberger, what you're sitting on is what we call a perch or local aquifer. And he said, it's only 120 foot deep. And when it gets down 120 foot, it hits solid sheets of limestone. And what we were looking at was a seep. But when we dug into it, we created, instead of it coming out all over the rail, it came into that box, was a spring. And back in those days, it gave us a gallon a minute. A well, gallon a minute is 1,320 gallons a day. That's more than you and your wife use. But as we kept doing better and better, that same spring started giving us two gallons a minute. So once again, I'm here to tell you that taking care of the land and doing it right, uh, it's, it helps you every way you can. Selah, S-E-L-A-H. Bible scholars believe it's a musical term that means to stop, pause, Look around and reflect. Oh, 
We're all good. Everything smells like dirt around here all of a sudden. All of a sudden, everything smells like dirt. I can't imagine why. You need some? There you go. I got gotcha. you. Well, off to the first afternoon hunt here in Texas. We're going to see what happens. There's all kinds of different critters that could be coming in, and who knows? I have an itchy trigger finger. We finally got rid of that jinx, buddy. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, let's go check it out. How's it going? Thank you. We have to go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I watched him run between those two bushes, the two further ones, and he was going that way. Oh, yeah, right on that rock there is that blood there. Yeah, there's blood there and there's his track again. He went a little farther than I anticipated, but he's right here. That's weird. Well, hey, Hank, thank you so much. Oh, man. Appreciate it. So <laughs> now I've had a successful hunt with you in camp with us. Instead, right. and, right. instead of going yeah. to Kyrgyzstan yeah. and having a mess, we didn't have to fly 3,000 miles. And the first afternoon in the blind, and I've got me a Texas whitetail. Do you know, my bow season's been so bad this year, this is actually the first buck I've shot, whitetail I've shot this year with my with my Hoyt. Texas tea. Hey right? <laughs> guys, the Texas tea. Well, thank you again. I can't thank you guys enough. Yeah, you're oh. it's good seeing you again. It is. It's been fun. We've had plenty of laughs, and now 
Yep. And we have to try some, to... Got some blood. Yeah, but now we got to try to get him back up that hill. That's why I'm glad you shot him instead of me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, on the plus side, they're a little, their bodies are a little smaller than they are at That's home true. in Illinois, so it's That's okay. No it's okay. Snow. There's no snow. I'm not freezing to death. Yeah. You know, so Pretty that cool. part's all good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice job. Well, Very thank good. you again. I'm so happy. Thank you again. Thanks for thanks for having us down. All right, Ralphie, it's your turn. <laughs> You're up. Let's go. When I stop up here, you just get out and see if you can find you some dinosaur tracks. Right there. No. Look at holy crap! Look at that! It's a dinosaur track. Look. No. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. 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 That's why we came up here. These are all footprints. That's a nice one there. Look how nature fills it full of water for us so we can see it better. But Is these it are really? All, these are all footprints. Look at these. Look at it. Three-toed footprint, 54 in this area, kind of scattered around. Acrocanthosaurus, and they were about 30 feet long or so from the end of the tail of the nose and weighed somewhere between between three and 12 tons, which I know is a broad range, but we don't know how much they weighed. They were big. And it's like a T-Rex? They were heavy. Very enough. similar to T-Rex, you know, very similar to T-Rex. Had little, their front arms were not like this, more like this. I'm like, excited about this, this is cool. <laughs> You can actually see the joints, the joints of its toes. That's that, so cool. Hey, it's Giant Steve, thank you so much, and I really do believe that those were his tracks. You know, first and foremost, I, I never thought I would be walking into probably one of the largest man-made bat caves. No, and, th and that was so in, cool. And he In said, the world, I mean. They, they said they have hundreds of thousands of bats that come there every year. Here. Listen, you'll hear some chirping. This bat. We live in a little thing. Yeah, we put a few bat houses in here right after it's constructed. The, the overwintering populations, they do stay in those bat houses. They can stay a little warm. So they hang from just the wall? Yeah, man. Just it's built. That's very rough. So it's gunite. The same way, the construction style is exactly the same as an in ground pool, in ground swimming pool. Every square foot will have about 200 so, to 250. Oh, oh gosh. This every is, square foot? Every square foot. But they're roosting all the way back into that. Yeah, you can go back in first. Yeah. We're standing on about five feet of bat poop. Hi, oh, that's healthy. Batman. No. Yeah, those are bats. Those are, oh my God. Yeah, look at that. Those are bats. Look at that. They're cramming in there, trying to stay warm. Really trying to stay warm right now. You know, Mr. Bamberger, what an honor for us to spend some time with him. And thank you, sir, for, for, for your time and, and for you taking the opportunity to make something that much better. What a legacy. Absolutely. Well, we just got set up and this is a little bit of an elevated box blind. We're up on a plateau. We've got the, the food source and we're just hoping that they come in. He's coming from the right. You see him out there?
There he goes. <laughs> Just my luck. I'm really not liking that deer. I think this is it. shot and I hit a branch. Hey, you want to see my trophy from Texas? It's right there. Right there. I'm assuming he's filming you because you didn't kill anything. Well, I tried. Tried did not do it. You know? No, 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 no. Zip zero nine. I suck. You could say it. Well, uh, you'd say it for me. I don't need to say it. That's... You know what? what? Like, you're still a good guy. Oh, thanks, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. We've had a blast. Well, I guess I got this coming, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stand here like a strong old little Italian and take it, because Hank and George have been really throwing it at me, yeah. and now here comes my wife and and, and little Steve. So. so what happened? Well, the sun got in my eyes, the wind was blowing really hard, and I hit a damn branch. Just cut it in two, arrow went too. Steve said he has loppers for that. You don't need to shoot arrow. Well, no, you I bring think, Steve I think, here. Yeah, I think. Hey, Steve, he wants the to fight you. Actually saw Steve, I'm just, you're lucky he's in between us. Because if, if, if Hank wasn't here, I'd tear you apart. I'm going to tell you something right now. You out. Standing on the chair. I mean, I had, I had a tippy toe to look out the window. You I, talk about below the belt. 
pretty awesome. I mean, congratulations well, thank again, you. Vic. You, um, you know what? It, you outdid I, I me. Need, well, again. Yeah, but <laughs> I kind of needed that one because you outdid me last fall. Yeah, but still, so, you know, I, I really needed that, and you it did. was awesome. And Those are always confidence builders. It is. It, it was. I mean? You know, I mean, it was a great trip. We had a lot yes. of fun. We can't thank everyone enough. Hank, Lissa, Steve, Mr. Bamberger, all Giant of you Steve. guys. Thank you guys so much, and um, we'll see you next week, same time, same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.